he uh, recently contracted uh, gonorrhea and um, and also syphilis too. Pimping out girls on the campus. <laughs> Wait a minute, you think August? you think this is funny? I'm so serious. This is not a joke. You need to wipe that smirk off your face, ma'am. Okay, cause right now, I, I, you know what? If I can come through this fucking phone, I will squeeze and choke the hell out of his ass. This is a chapel. This is no place for hoodlumism. What I gotta break the news to you today is like, I've been fucking your daughter for like the last six months. What do YouTube? It's your boy P from Kellen P, and I'm back. I'm here with Nick. All right, man. So I'm gonna let you know what's going on today, right? I'm gonna do prank calls. Who you think in your phone? You know what I'm saying? Be down to do a prank call for us. Man, my mom actually. She'd be real funny. Yeah, for real. All right. So here's the idea, right? We're gonna call her and tell you that I'm, you know what I'm saying the head doctor in the health department. Right. My name is Dr. Rodford, <laughs> and we found that you came in and got tested just because you were, you know what I'm saying, curious, and you told us about your sexual partners. You're going to spread around the five Spelmanites and Clarkites on campus. Gotcha. Okay. But because uh, the lines are kind of shaky, and she didn't know or you didn't know what the court will decide, you know what I'm saying, what they're going to do with that. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get it going. Hi. Hello? Who is this? This is Dr. Rodford, the head of uh, the Morehouse Health Department. Yeah, this, this is Dr. Rockford. Uh-huh. Hey, um, recently uh, your son has come into the department and um, he, he got tested because um, he was uh, curious you know, about his uh, sexual activity uh, with students on campus. And uh, What? Yeah. There are some uh, negative consequences and uh, negative results to his, uh, his test. Well, I mean negative isn't bad, but the test results were positive. You understand wait what a minute, wait a minute. He got what? What is it going on? Nah, he, he, he uh, recently contracted uh, gonorrhea and um, and also syphilis too. So many times, many times, I've almost been burned, been burned. So many times, that, so many times, almost been burned, almost been burned. No! Oh, no! <laughs> so, I don't know what uh, he, he's going to do in terms of... Uh, Precautionary steps if he if he wanted to go like the prep route where he could take the pills, you know what I'm saying? Get himself right again. Where 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 is he at? He's right here outside on, on campus. I didn't talk to him. He's right here. He's right here. Hello? What the hell's going on? I'm sorry, Long. No, I hope this not a freaking joke. It's not. Oh, ma'am, uh, he's contracted gonorrhea and syphilis. Did you did you call his dad? No, uh, you were his emergency contact. You was the first person. Okay, because right now, I, I, you know what? If I can come through this fucking phone, I will squeeze and choke the hell out of his ass. Chris, is this true? I wanted to lie, but my mother always told me if I did, she'd slap me into another nationality. Another thing is uh, we're also waiting on test revolts uh, for HIV, you know, more serious disease. And those, are, of course, if you may or may not know, that those are uh, non-curable. Who, who did he lay up with? I'm not sure, but he's told me based off his recent sexual activity, he's uh, at least been with five different women uh, between Spellman. Uh, Clark Atlanta, and then one he has uh, at Georgia State. He said uh, he had sexual intercourse with. Hello. Hello. This is Dr. Rodford again. Okay, there they go right there. You talk to me. So there's also uh, more to the story. So we're trying to figure out now did he contract it from one of the five? This is Dr. Rodford. From Morehouse College Health Department. 
Is this his father? Yes, this is his father. Hello? Oh, yeah, I'm saying that he recently contracted. He came in our office and he, uh, we tested him because he was uh, a little wary about his uh, sexual activity. And we've recently just found that he's contracted gonorrhea and syphilis. And we're also waiting on test results for the HIV test. Okay, first of all, he's 18 years old. And you know, what, who are you going to be giving him public information like this which is against the law out to other people? He personally told me he wanted uh, me to speak to you guys because he's just, you know, in fear right now. As an 18-year-old, I know it'd be kind of scary, you know, for the first time contracting a, a sexual uh, transmitted uh, infection. So uh, he wanted me to basically ease the blow and, you know, tell him, tell you guys for him. Okay, I'll be speaking to my son. Thank you. Okay. Also, uh, there's also further precautions. It's a little tricky because uh, we don't know if he's contracted it from the five students between Clark Atlanta, Spelman, and Georgia State, or if he gave it to the five students. So there's another aspect, you know, when uh, Morehouse Campus Police comes in uh, to that situation. Who's your father? He hung up because he's pissed too. Okay. Uh, the father's calling right now. Do you want me to answer his phone call? You know what? Yeah, because I'm going to talk to y'all because I, I get the bullshit what he's doing out there. He's supposed to be out there getting a fucking education. He is. He is. But, I mean, it's very that, that common. That sound like a goddamn education to me. That doesn't mean he's not getting an education, man. We're, we're, we're concerned that about his health. That sound like he's getting one. We're concerned he's about his health right now. Right now. I'm just calling to let you know we're very concerned about his health. But the other I, thing I is whether he... No more, God damn it, because if I see him, I'm ready to beat his ass. Whether he spread the disease is the tricky part. We're getting Morehouse College Police Department to investigate in that right now, and there could be further actions upon the law taken upon this uh, case. Because if he was also, like, knowingly, he had any type of STD or seen you know, any type of red bumps... His or, ass was there as a fucking dirty. If he spread... If he spread the disease, he could be charged and criminally uh, pursued. I don't know all the details about that because I'm not a police officer myself. My uh, my whole point of just calling you is just worrying about, you know, saying his health, getting him better, getting the you know, further steps upon, you know, getting him right and getting him healthy again. Put him on the phone. He's right here. Hello? Um, I'm sorry. Was you that fucked you? I'm desperate? Yeah. For what? I don't know. So you went up there and did something and now all of a sudden your ass got fucked. I already told you about that situation. <laughs> I had already had a conversation with you. Hello? No. You got two sisters and a mother, and if anything, your ass should have had some type of goddamn respect. You should have called the female now. I don't know. Um, Dad's calling me. I don't give a fuck. You got me pissed off right now for me to get a fucking phone call like this. You don't know that. Sorry, ma'am. Uh, it's, it's Dr. Rodford back on the phone. And I was calling to tell you this is a prank call from Kelly I Keith. don't want to talk to you no more. And I'm this out. You out. did. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Kel from Kelly Pete. I'm back. You feel me? This time I'm with Gabe. All right. So, we're doing prank calls, you know. And who, who do you think is going to overreact the most out of everybody that you know in your contact? Everybody I know? Yeah. Should probably be my mom's. I ain't going to love. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to prank call and we're going to tell your mom that you've been pimping the girls on campus. You've been, you've been pimping them out 
Hey, yeah, you got them got selling pussy. Looking like a tree. You got them selling pussy. You know what I mean? You got about yeah, eight girls right. in rotation. They Yo, giving everybody the top. Ah! They giving everybody everything. You know what I mean? So I'm calling my mom. Yeah, you gonna call your mom? Yes. Hello. Um, this is the dean at Morehouse College, Dean Westenhouse, and. Yes? I just had to let you know what your son has been doing. He's been doing something that is very inexcusable for this campus. Inexcusable. He oh has my goodness. he has been pimping out girls on the campus. <laughs> Wait a minute. Isn't you think talking? you think this is funny? I'm so serious. This is not a joke. You need to wipe that smirk off your face, ma'am. This is serious business. When I tell you when I tell you he's really pimping these girls, like it's it's serious. He's looking to do a whole bunch of jail time. You know this is illegal. He has these girls giving head what? and what? pussy to everybody. What? what did you say your name was again? This man, his name is Gabe. Oh, my name? Yes. Oh, my name is Dean Westenhouse. Dean Westenhouse? Yes. Dean Westenhouse. Yes. Okay, it's a Sunday at um. Uh, yes, that's how that's how serious this is. That's how serious this is. This is a serious issue. This is serious. Yes, he is pimping the girls. You think this is legal? This is illegal and this is inexcusable. Forget, forget suspension. Forget expelled. This he's going to prison. Yes, you cannot. You cannot. You cannot do this. You cannot do this. What are you talking about? This is not a joke. What are you talking? All right. All right, son, son. I don't I don't know what to tell you. You're really going to jail. This is this is serious, man. Hello, Ma. Yeah. Ma, they're for real. Like that serious, honestly. For real? Nah, they dead ass. Ma, they're serious. What happened? I just, I they just all like me, mom. They're serious, like. And I got caught. I guess they are mad, but um, I just got caught, man. I ain't, nah, they that serious. <clears throat> For real? Yeah, I need to go turn them out. Over there. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> Excuse me, no, 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 no. It's not that he's he's having sexual interactions with these women. He's pimping them out. Like he's having them have sex with other students. He's they're selling their bodies, ma'am. They're oh selling God, their bodies. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, they're having. Yes. He's he's having them have sex with other with other students on campus for money. This money? Is, yes, this is what he's doing. What is he doing? What do you mean, what is he doing? I just told you what he was doing. Oh, oh, he's having... <laughs> he's having people have terrible. sex with one another on campus. Yes. So what is that his fault? What do you mean? How are you doing that? He's running the operation. He, he's is, running the operation? Yes. This is, he's, he's turning these, these females into prostitutes. Oh, my God. Turn it into prostitutes? This is terrible. This is yes. I'm sorry. No, wait, wait, yes, wait, no. yes. Hold on. I don't. This is a serious matter. I don't know. I feel like you're in on the operation. The police need no, to be alerted no, no. about both of y'all. Bro, that's bro, is your mom part of this? To do with is that. your mom part your of this? Has nothing to do with that. Keep my mom's out there. Sure. Because y'all can, we can. I don't care if you're the I know you're from New York, but it's like I'll send somebody down there. The we have to do a full Keep investigation. We have to do a full investigation. Because this I doesn't make any sense. Else. She's laughing on the phone like Take she knows what's president. going on. Take me to the president. No, Take, no, no. Let me because it, 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 it sounds care. unreal. That's why not. I'm laughing. Ma, don't worry Hello? about that, mom. It's ma, it's for real. It's dead serious, but it's don't let them serious? try to talk. You. Yeah, it's dead serious, mom. Dead serious. What happened? Ma, I told you, ma. Like it just, it just happened. You got caught. Like dead serious. You got caught on what? Prostitution, ma. What are you doing down there? Get serious. We was, now we, you want to fuck one of these we was make, to the next. Ma, we was making money, Ma. Gabe, no! Come on! Yo, you just want to come back home. You must want to come back home. Because then you talking about some other bullshit. I'm not down there. For real. Nah, he's not going home, ma'am. I'm so... This is like he serious. He's to come home. The police are with us right now. There's no home. This is hey. Fulton County. I don't know what you mean, home. You're going to Fulton County, son. Mama, I love you. <laughs> you wish he wish he was going home. Oh my God. Okay. Mom, 
Mom, I'm gonna call you later, Mom. I'm gonna call you later. She's accepting other phone hello? calls. Yes, hello. Yes. Yeah, he's gonna have to call you through the prison phone because we have to take him away right now. I'm so sorry. Take him where? What do you mean? I'm taking him to Fulton County. He's going to Fulton County Jail where he will be booked and processed. The rest is up to them. This is out of my hands now. You say them. How many guys are you talking about? No, no, no. When I say up to them, I mean the judicial system. It's up to the courts. Wait, 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 All wait, I can wait, do wait. is report the incident. I tried to tell you. You thought I was joking. I was. I really you was laughing on the. You was, I was laughing. You was I laughing asked, on the was phone. Laughing. Because I thought it was a joke. Because it doesn't sound real and it doesn't sound like my son. That's why I'm laughing. Okay? You know, That's why I'm laughing. It doesn't sound like my son. People always think that they know their sons until they come to our institutions. Listen, I'm not one of those people. Yo, that's my mom, bro. That's my mom, bro. I'm just saying, you know, we usually know we usually know them more than more than you do. You know what I mean? We we we're with your kids every day. I I don't know what to tell you. Um but yeah, he's he's gonna be booked in process. We have him right here and after I hang up with you. I have to make the call. Come on, listen, I'm going to call you later. I'm going to call you later. I'm All right, you. All right. Western House, one more West time. House. Yes, yes. And I have to just, I just wanted to let you know, last thing is that this is a prank and you're on <laughs> Kellen P. You know, I knew it was. <laughs> nah, I'm you... like, is this born again? I couldn't think of nobody else but born again. I just knew it wasn't my son. I'm like, that's not my son. Now, he done did some new stuff lately. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kel from Kel and P. I'm back. You feel me? This time I'm with Brian Thomas. You feel me? All right, bet. So, you know, we're doing a prank call today, right? So, I gotta ask you a few questions. You go to church? Yes, sir. What church you go to? Uh, Dream Center. That's in Atlanta? Yeah. You go to the Dream Center? Yeah. What's the your pastor's name? William Murphy. You from Atlanta? Nah, I'm from Seattle, Washington. All right, bet. So, your parents don't know about this church. Now they know about it. It's a famous church. All right, baby, baby, baby. Yep. And um, just tell me you went to a new church. You tried to switch things. Thanks. You went to a new church, right? Okay. Tried to switch it up. Some girl, she convinced you to go to this new church. You got a girl? Yeah. You got a girl? Yeah. What's the girl name? I can't even say that. Bro. Oh, Do your parents know about the girl? Do your parents know about the girl? All right, so it don't matter. It don't matter. Anyway. It's bad, girl. It's yeah. Bad. She got you to go to her church. You went. You feel me? I'm the pastor. Reverend Samuel Cockfield, and what had happened was you decided to steal from the collection plate. Okay. And we're calling your mother to let her know about the things you've been doing. Okay. So let's get it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. what's that? Yes. Um. This is Reverend Samuel Cockfield from the Baptist Church on campus at Morehouse College, and I'm calling to let you know that. Your son has been caught stealing from the collection plate. He had he over. He, I'm telling you what happened. I found personally over a hundred and twenty dollars in his hoodie pocket. I don't know what got into him, but he he's he's stealing from God. I don't know who does that. He stole from the Lord. He's trying to not keep the lights on at the church. This is a chapel. This is no place for hoodlumism. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I I really don't know. I, I really don't. He said it was something about a girl and his friend, and okay, he thought well, it was cool. Joke's probably on the chapel because my son is raised better than that. He wouldn't do that. So, I'm, I'm, um, somebody, somebody else got the money. I'm going to so. put him on the phone. He's going to tell you exactly. Tell your mother what you were doing. Mom. What? It wasn't even like that. Like, so. Wait, is this a joke? No, it's, I'm so serious. Wait, what the I'm mom. It's like, so I didn't want to go to the chapel today, but my friend told me to come, and then she was like, she was like, I don't, I don't know, mom. I don't know. I'm gonna hang up on you because y'all playing. I don't think it's funny. We don't play with the Lord like you that. So if you and your friends think this is a joke, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. But it, so call me when you're serious. The service, mom. The service was boring, and I just. You didn't even go nowhere today, so stop Yes, praying. I did. I went to the chapel service at 4 o'clock. And, you, and you're telling me, they said you stole money out of the collection plate? I didn't even take that much. I'm going to hang up. Bye, Brian. <laughs> call, call, call it back, call it back, call it back. Like, 
Um, yes, excuse me, ma'am. We're trying to figure out the proper punishment to give to your son. Um, do you do you have anything in mind? Because this this is this is a serious matter. I don't I've, I don't know what's going on. I've never seen this. And who who yeah. are you? And we don't want to lock him up. I'm the Reverend. I'm Reverend Samuel Cockfield. And I, I we don't want to we don't want Samuel Cockfield. We don't want to press charges. We really don't. But this is serious. He's trying to take us for a joke. This is the Lord's community. The whole church song. The whole congregation. That is, it, whatever, what you're saying don't make sense. So. What, what do you mean it doesn't um, make sense? What's, what it doesn't make sense. That's not my son's character to steal money. So we need to get, if, if this is not a joke, it's, and I'm, you know, because I, I, don't, I don't have time for that. So I'm, this is real. Excuse me, ma'am. Obviously, you, you clearly don't know your son like we do. No, I do. I, I, call, I, no, I, I call no, him stealing. Reverend, whoever you are, I know my son a lot better than anybody. And what I know about my son is how he was raised and what he knows better. My son wouldn't steal nothing from nobody. Um, so if my son has taken some money out of a collection plate. Which he did. Saying, which he did. Put my son on the phone, Reverend. Hello? I don't have time for this bullshit. What is going on? Mom, I stole the money. What do you mean you stole the money? I took it. Took what? You just got, you ain't, you ain't broke. You got me in this red lobster for the game, and I don't think this is funny. Mom, I don't so, know, what, I don't know what to say. So what, what so, so what y'all want to do? What, what's the what now? What you want, what you want to do? That's what he asked you. He wants to know what he, like. You a grown ass man. They can't even talk to me about your finances, and I'll pay the tuition, but you telling me you want to talk to me about what to do. Put your ass in jail. I don't know what to tell you. All right. I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, if you made the dumb decision to steal some money out of collection plate, knowing that's not even you, this don't even make sense. So joke's on y'all. You and Reverend Sam, whoever, y'all need to go back to the Lord and figure this out. I don't I don't, I don't even know what y'all, what are you talking about? So now you got the whole, the whole Red Lobster looking at me crazy because you talking about you stole some money out the, out the collection plate. What? That doesn't even feel right. You go steal some shoes at the mall. You don't steal no money out of the collection plate. So you steal shoes from the mall too? Is that what your mother's saying? So you a yeah, thief? Yeah, steal shoes from the mall. He's so, a thief. So That's you, what he is you, right you knew about so this. You knew, you knew about this and you let him into my congregation. You told him to come to church this Sunday. And you knew about this. He has been. He's gonna. He's. He's going to be banned from the church. He's gonna be banned. I'm, I'm, I have to just ban him. He's gonna be banned. And something. We're gonna have to do some actions. We, we'll, we'll have to figure it out, and we'll get to you at a, at another time, I guess. But we'll we'll have to handle this the only way we know best. But before we let you go, we just have to tell you that this was a prank, and your son was not stealing from the collection plate. Yeah, you know, what's, what's, what's crazy about this? Mom, chill. Time? No, no, because y'all finna make me lose my whole religion. Chill. You finna make me lo lose everything. That shit ain't funny. I mean, you got folks looking at me crazy and y'all playing about a collection plate. Oh, uh, man, I appreciate you for being part of this video. It's your boy Kevin from Kellen P, and we out. You dig. What it do, you too? It's your boy P from Kellen P, and I'm back, and I'm here with... Kayla. All right, Kayla. So, today... What we're doing right we're doing public prank calls mm -hmm. are you ready you got somebody in your phone that we can call real quick yeah y'all gonna call my dad all right let's get it let's call your dad we're gonna tell him it's a prank at the end let's go along with it and i need it on speakerphone too what's his name hey sir. hey is this is brian man this is this is this is p this is p Okay. Man, uh, your daughter, she 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 just came to me and she's just like, man, I just really want to tell him, you know what I'm saying? But she was kind of scared to, to let you know. But uh, what I got to break the news to you today is like, I've been fucking your daughter for like the last six months. And she just let, let you know that we like starting to laugh. Oh my gosh, you're wild. Hello? <laughs> No, 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 for real. It was, he said he was doing a prank for a YouTube video. Shut your stupid ass up. <laughs> Say that, folks. Look at your dumb ass. Say it. 
I didn't know he was saying all that. Wait, put it back on speaker. I'm saying. Alright, bye. Oh my god. <laughs> She ruined nah, it. Oh, shit. I didn't know you was gonna say all nah, that. What the fuck you thought was gonna say? What's gonna get him mad? She got a bad grade on the tests. No, I didn't what the fuck you was gonna say. I was pregnant or something. To say that he was, to say that, you, why you if cut you that off? Pregnant, that means you was fucking. Okay, he could have said that after. Oh Shorty's wild. Ruined the whole prank. All I ever wanted was to run it.